All right, so welcome to this video. By the end of this video, you'll be able to hook up a micro bit to control a wire that will act as our heater. So the first thing we want to do is a safety um, warning. What I don't want you to do before I tell you to do is I never ever want you to plug this in unless I tell you to do that. And this, the end of this plug, will eventually plug into here, but I don't want you to do that yet either. So just hold on to those two parts. We'll go over what all these parts are in a second, but that concludes the safety warning. All right, so now we're gonna go over all of the parts we have pretty quickly. The first thing we have, we're either gonna have a screwdriver or a pen. Um, if you picked up your parts kit earlier, you probably have the pen. Later, you probably have the screwdriver. This pen has a little level in it, but the real thing you're going to be using a lot, and it also has rulers, the real thing you're going to be using a lot is this unscrews, and you'll see a little screwdriver in there. You can pull it out to either have flathead or Phillips. We'll go ahead and put that back together. And this, the end of the pen, is actually a little thing you can use for your phone or your tablet. Um, this is a little, it's called a pigtail, and basically it just um, converts our DC adapters. This is an, um, it converts AC to DC. This thing converts 120 volts AC, that which goes in there, to 12 volts DC, which comes out here on the plug. And so what this does is it hooks into there, and it um, converts that to 12 volts DC coming out of here. Now, very important, as I said in the safety warning, don't attach these yet. Then the next thing we have is we have our MOS module. Um, this is basically just an electronic switch. We gonna, we're going to connect something to here and something to here. And then we're going to control this with an electronic signal sent from the micro bit here. And I'll show you how to hook that up in a little bit. This is our micro bit. You'll be used to, you'll be used to this by now. And our little USB cord that goes um, from the micro bit to the computer. If you haven't done this yet, you can go ahead and put your batteries inside your battery pack here. Um, and this battery pack can basically remotely power um, the micro bit. Then we have some wire connections. And again, I'll tell you how to hook these up. But these are just uh, male wire connections on this end. And you should have two of these, male to alligator clip. And then this is just another wire connection. We have, um, we have female connections on this end and we have alligator clips on that side. And there's all of your parts. All right, so now we're gonna cook up our MOS module. So I'm gonna take you through this step by step. So what I wanna do first is I want to connect the MOS module to our micro bit. Okay, so let's get rid of some of the other things we won't need. So what you're going to need here is the micro bit. I'll even take this USB cable out. And we're going to need the MOS module. And we're going to need the three um, alligator clips that are uh, connected here. So I got a little unlucky because I have um, two white um, wires and one black. Hopefully you got less lucky or you got more lucky than me and you have um, a set of three wires that are different. But it's not too big of a deal. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of those female and I'm gonna connect them to the male like so. You can do it one at a time if it's easier. And now I have to really be careful about reading this. There's signal, VCC, and ground. So the signal basically is carrying the um, off or on signal and VCC and ground I just need to hook up to the micro bit voltage and the micro bit ground. Um, so luckily what I can do is follow um, this line. I know my black is going my black wire is hooked up to ground GND and I have the same exact hookup there. So I'm going to go ahead and hook that alligator clip to GND and then I know my next one is my other white alligator clip and that is VCC so my next one is VCC 
and I'm going to hook my VCC to 3 volts. And then my next one is SIG. I can actually hook that up to 0, 1, or 2 because my micro bit can output 0, 1, or 2. Now I need a little bit more slack, so what I'm going to do is just pull gently on this wire. If you can see that. And that way I have a little bit more slack. As long as I pull gently, I shouldn't break the wire. And I'm just going to go ahead and hook this up to, to port 0 here, just to give us a little space. Okay, so now you can see I have the three wire connections here from my micro bit hooked up, or from my MOS module, hooked up to my micro bit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pigtail, and um, I'm going to look at these two wires. The black is going to go to um, GND on the right side of my MOS module, and the red is going to go into VIN. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up um, these connections here. So just remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then I'm going. To, then it should open this open this slot up a little bit. So if you've never worked with these type of wire connectors, it's going to open that slot up a little bit. And then I'm going to make sure that I insert the black into the ground and the red into the V in. And I'll go ahead and tighten that up. Now, it's very important, do not connect this to the, the outlet yet. Do not connect to that yet. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my two alligator clips with the male ends, and I'm just going to do the same thing. And it actually doesn't matter where I put these. I'm going to put these in V plus and V minus, but the direction doesn't matter since I'm just hooking them up to a wire it's not going to matter. So let's go ahead and do that. And then again, tighten it down. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, this is actually the output. So remember how I said this is just a switch? So the micro bit controls with pin zero whether or not this switch is on or not. If this switch is on, it's basically going to connect the power that's hooked up on this side to my wire in this side. So now I have to get my wire. So this will be cut from either a TA or an undergraduate helper. And again, I'm just going to pull these wires um, like this so that I can easily connect. So I'm going to take my wire. I actually coiled mine around a pencil. Um, and so it's a pretty good coil. So I'm going to be careful when I um, put my wire in. I'm going to connect it to the end. As long as I can get this alligator clip working. Okay. All right, so I connected that to one end, and then I'm going to connect my wire to the other end. Now, a couple things that are really super important. You first off notice that I haven't connected this yet. You never ever want to connect this until the very, very, very end. Okay, you never want to connect this until the very, very, very end. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this 
I want to make sure this, so, so this is another safety thing. I never want these two to touch, and I really don't want this coil to touch either, because that's what's, what that's going to do is give a short path to my electricity. It's going to make a short path. I don't want this to touch, and I don't want this to touch. It's going to make a short path for the electricity to go here to here, and that's going to draw a lot more power than I want to draw. So we, you can either put this in your box, or if you want to test it out, just make sure that they're not going to touch on the table and make sure you have a place where you can you can make sure they're not going to touch before you test it. Okay, so the next step is we're going to um, we're going to test it. And so don't plug that in until I tell you to. All right. So before we plug in our AC adapter. Do not do that yet. We want to write some very simple code just to test out our wire. And so we can get these digital, rin, uh, digital write pins from the pin section here. And basically um, that P0 pin is what we connected because we connected this to um, pin 0 on our micro bit. So we want to write that. That takes only two values. One means it's a high value, which means we're going to turn that switch on, and we're going to turn the wire on. And zero is a low value, which means we're going to turn that wire off. Now, we have these pauses in between in milliseconds, so that just means we're going to wait five seconds in between turning it on and off just to see what happens. So we actually, um, let's go ahead and switch to our, uh, a big view of our camera. And I'll just show you the, um, you can see that this blue alligator clip is in pin zero of the uh, micro bit. So you can see the zero right there. And what's going on is our wire actually isn't working yet because we haven't supplied any power to this pigtail. But... What it, what it will show you is that when the power is supplied, we can tell whether or not our switch from our micro bits working. So you can kind of see this little LED uh, in the middle here, uh, right next to VCC. And it will be on and red when um, the switch is on, which means that the wire would be powered if we were powering it. And that's on for five seconds and then off for five seconds. So you can kind of see that it's working. So we've, we've got to our final step. So what I want you to do is just double check before you do before you plug in uh, your adapter. I want you to double check um, that everything is wired correctly in your um, system, and that your wire is um, a nice coil. It's there's no wire from this side touching that side. The alligator clips are nowhere near each other, and that they'll stay that way. Nothing is going to bump into it or whatnot. Um, so, so let's go ahead, we're going to take this and plug it into an outlet, and we're going to take this and plug it into the other end of our pigtail. Alright, so let me go ahead and do that. My outlet's a little far away, so let me do that. And so it's plugged into my outlet now, and now I'm going to plug this into the pigtail. Now, when um, the wire will not probably heat up right away, um, I would recommend that if you touch it, be, just be very quick. You should be able to feel that it gets a little bit warmer um, when, the, uh, when the switch is on, in the five seconds that it's on, and then it gets a little cooler. If you want to feel, if you want to feel how um, warm it'll get, you can just go ahead and change that, that pause um, you know, from five seconds to maybe 20 seconds or something, then it'll get a little bit warmer. It is a little bit hard to feel um, in just five seconds, um, but you can still feel it a little bit. So that's it. Now you have your wire working. Um, now it's up to you to figure out the make code to turn on and off your wire and to report out your temperature to um, another micro bit. Thanks for watching.